dear colleagues, uh, it's a pleasure to um, make presentation on uh, the ninth international conference on monitoring and management of emergent economy. And uh, um, we have prepared the uh, re research uh, with the title Human Potential in the System of its Commercialization Management. And with a group of my colleagues, uh, it's international team, uh, three uh, colleagues represent Ukraine, um, and one colleague is from Moldova. Uh, and uh, together we uh, have prepared uh, this uh, international product. <laughs> so, uh, as you may see, uh, 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 the agenda of my uh, presentation is uh, introduction, main theoretical and methodological assumption of the research, uh, research result, and conclusions. Uh, uh, I should admit that we have prepared our research within the Young Scientists Project, uh, as all, all of us belong to the uh, category of Young Scientists. And uh, this project is uh, uh, performed uh, 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 under the title Realization of the Young Scientist Potential in Integration of Science, Education, and Business. Its duration is three years. It's the second year of its uh, implementing. And it's per, uh, uh, financed by uh, the expense of uh, the general fund of the state budget. So it's financed by the Minister of Education and Science of Ukraine. Uh, and that's why um, uh, we, uh, I, I should highlight its uh, uh, human potential and its commercialization is one of the directions uh, which uh, we should study in this project and present its results. So um, about the current research problem, uh, we believe that it lays upon the human potential management and the possibility of its commercialization. And um, uh, it was uh, important to provide this um, in, the, in this paper, this scientific uh, support based on um, human potential and human capital theories uh, to show their connection within, uh, within the system of sustainable business development, uh, as it's one of the current um, uh, pro um, uh, problems of modern uh, society development. And uh, about, a few words about the research methodology, uh, we um, have built it on uh, the um, approaches, uh, theoretical and methodological of Ukrainian foreign experts uh, for during the last 10 years. And uh, they reflect uh, human capital, human potential concepts, uh, and take into account business needs. Uh, we should admit the scientific novelty and of the methodology, methodology because uh, despite a large number of researches and approaches on uh, how to measure human capital, uh, there are always a lack of uh, criteria uh, in its measurement, um, as the issues of measurement uh, are incomplete. Uh, indicators all, uh, very often are contradictory and it's why it requires further, further elaboration uh, to create a, a more appropriate integral model, integrated model. And that's why uh, we have brought our attention to the issue of human potential commercialization management. As you may see here, the schematic correlation of human potential parameters uh, was developed by uh, uh, the authors. And uh, we have uh, paid attention to uh, 
um, size dynamic parameters as human progress, modernization, and human growth. Uh, and a function of parameters of human potential, uh, which uh, then move to human development. And uh, we also developed technology for managing the commercialization of human potential. And as you may see, uh, the first stage is estimation of the value of commercialized, commercialized human potential according to the developed methodology. And implement, the second stage is implementation of the human resources commercialization management system. And uh, uh, the third stage is the last is application of the scheme of institutions responsible the, uh, for distribution of uh, the, for the commercialization of human potential. Uh, that's why we uh, have, uh, according to this scheme, we have developed a system of commercialization of human potential management. Um, and uh, we believe that here should be the control system and you may see a subsystem and you may see its main elements as commercialization strategy, human potential commercialization goals, human potential commercialization tasks and organization culture is the main, one of the main elements. Uh, supply subsystem uh, should be within this control subsystem and uh, it should take into account methods and tools of commercialization. And um, th there should be such as uh, interchange uh, between uh, control subsystem and many subsystem. And the many subsystem uh, uh, also includes some regulatory and analytical subsystem inside. But the main element of managed subsystem, as you may see, should be resources of human potential, shell commercialization, as they believe. And then uh, distribution of the institutions by level of formation and commercialization, human potential. There uh, you may see such elements as state so institution, uh, institutions at the state level, at the regional level and the personal level and how they interrelate with human potential, transformation to human capital and uh, with business entity. Then, and the commercialization through the institution of contractual regulation within the business entity. And uh, all institutions which uh, are involved in this process within the business entity. Uh, besides, we have developed the human potential commercialization measurement in its managerial effectiveness. And we have calculated an example of uh, a transport businesses um, for uh, the period from 2012 till 2018, uh, all main, all main uh, components of the proposed method. Uh, which gives the opportunity to calculate the uh, um, human potential, uh, pot uh, human potential commercial, uh, um, commercialized uh, value of human uh, poten uh, potential, which can be considered human capital. And uh, we also paid attention to Mm, such element at the end of so our research, we have paid attention to human potential of business development in Ukraine. You may see mm, possible directions as we believe that human uh, being sent, this should move uh, uh, to sustainable um, business, uh, in the, the sustainable realization, human potential. Uh, that's why we have uh, studied these directions uh, as well and paid attention to the main uh, directions of social responsibility, which uh, businesses currently involved in how they uh, develop human uh, potential in con the context of social responsibility. And we have made the appropriate conclusions. As you may see, here is a lack of methodological basis, as I have admitted already. Uh, considering uh, uh, a reflection of interrelations between human potential and human capital, 
we have made uh, the appropriate criteria, uh, yes, and um, choose the, have chosen the appropriate criteria and made the possible comparison. And so the results uh, show or can be used by business structures to provide managerial and financial support for human potential commercialization in the part of company staff support, uh, stimulating its capacity growth, and also uh, can be used within programs for uh, sustainable and social business development as well. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, it's a great pleasure to participate. Thank you.